Hey, welcome back, everyone. I'd like to welcome our friends from the Habitat for Humanity, Miss Valentine and Miss Billy. How are you guys doing this morning? We're good. good. Thank you. Well, I'm so glad you guys came. And so we have some things we need to talk about. Volunteers, we're in need. So let's start. How many are we looking for? We don't actually have a set number. Okay. We have so many tasks and so many opportunities for volunteers that we <laughs> we don't All like to welcome. limit that. Okay. So we we like to talk to individuals, see who fits our program. Um, there's a, a quote that we use a lot that says volunteers don't get paid because they're worthless, but because they're priceless. Yes. And they're the heart and soul of our organization. Yes. Well, Valentine, you are the uh, manager over the resale store. So if a volunteer were to work at the resale store, what was some things that they could expect? Um, well, nothing is ever the same day to day at Habitat. Sometimes we have volunteers washing dishes. Okay. We have them helping set up displays. They're going through the boxes of donations and seeing what we've gotten in and just helping us process things and get it ready. And then what are some qualities that we would want in a volunteer? The most important thing is that they have a heart for what they're doing. Yes. Um, you know, we say you don't have to have the time, you have to have the heart. Mm -hmm. And most of our volunteers, I would say all of our volunteers are passionate about what they do. They're yes. passionate about Habitat. We have a volunteer who uh, has a family member who was a recipient of a Habitat really? home several years ago. So she's paying it forward mm -hmm. by being with us. So the, the most important thing is that they're kind, they're compassionate, friendly, um, honestly, as Valentine said, a willingness to do just yeah. about anything. Mm -hmm. We won't ask you to do something that you're uncomfortable with, but there are so many different types, types of tasks task, yes. that we can almost always suit someone to something they're comfortable with, good at, mm -hmm. develop skills, um, etc. <laughs> well, perfect. And Valentine, so, you know, I know there will be lots of students and kids out of school for the summer. Can this, the volunteering that they do with you guys, can that go towards maybe some school hours? Absolutely. We have a lot of students who come and Several of them have ended up joining our staff over really? the years and yeah, so it can help with schooling and just some work experience too. And then did you both start as volunteers and then worked your way into your roles? I did. You did? I did. Um, about, it's been almost eight years now. Really? I walked in as a shopper one day and, and was talking to one of the volunteers and we, she was saying, you know, you really should, you should think about this. And so I started volunteering and then COVID came along and mm -hmm. we kind of hit a little lull and then I came back on and then became staff two years ago. Well, that is amazing. So talk to me about if someone is seeing this, where can they go to uh, apply to volunteer? They can actually come to Miss Billy okay. at the store. <laughs> okay. at, at the restore on Gardner Boulevard. Uh, you can call ahead if you want to set a time, but I'm pretty much there most weekdays. Mm -hmm. We do a little brief orientation, some information about Habitat for those who aren't familiar with yes. some of our programs and just a, an opportunity to see what times and, and what sort of schedules work for them. Well, perfect. You guys go volunteer, go sign up and help <laughs> Habitat for Humanity. We still have more after the break.